Hi, it's Aurelius. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to create a video, Instagram or Facebook ad in Canva. So check this out. I'll play it and narrate at the same time so you know what's going on. So I'm introducing the everyday bag, the product, and introducing some features, light, compact and durable. And then also going on to the sale at the moment, which is 50% off. Just made all this up, of course, but this is something that you can create in just a few minutes. The first thing you're going to want to do is to sign up for Canva. You don't necessarily need a Canva Pro account, but if you do want extra elements and stock photos, then by all means go and sign up for a Canva Pro account. I will list a link down below in the description box for a 30 day trial of Canva Pro. Once you've signed up, make sure to go to create a design. And from here, we need to determine what size that ad will be. To determine that, you wanna make sure you go to this Facebook ads guide that I've got open. I'll link it up in the description box below. By the way, if you do wanna advertise on Instagram, you're going to wanna to go on the Facebook ads manager. This page categorizes the ads based on an image format, video, carousel, or collection. As I wanna demonstrate how to create a video ad, I clicked on video. And from here, you wanna choose a placement. Do you want to place your ad on an Instagram feed? Or do you wanna feature it in one of these other categories such as an Instagram story? That'll actually determine the ratio and size of your video ad or image. But you'll see here, the ratio is four to five. But what does this mean in terms of resolution? Well, based on later.com's blog, you'll see the four to five ratio is 1200 by 1500 pixels, and that's the recommended size. But if you go back to the Facebook ads guide, you'll see the resolution should be at least 1080 by 1080. So that is pretty much a square. Now, once you've decided on the format and ad placement, go back to Canva, click on create a design. And from here, we can either select a custom size. What I'm going to do is create a square video ad. Hold up, future realist here, sorry for the interruption, but I wanted to bring up this important note before you continue on. In this tutorial, I did base it on an animated social media post. This is an example of an animated social media post. No big problem because you can still set the duration, the timing of each of the pages or slides. You can even add transitions too. But if you do want to use some of Canva's extra video editing features, such as the ability to simply drag the length and adding transitions in between by simply clicking and then clicking add transition, then you're going to want to make sure you go video or search for video instead. And then from this list, you choose a format. As a reminder, you need to decide what format you want. So if you want a square, you can use Facebook video, which is a 1080 by 1080 format. Or if you want a four five ratio like this example here, then the template you wanna use if you scroll is this one right here where it says feed ad video portrait. Both ways will do the same job, but I wanted to bring this up before you continue on. Now back to the video. With Canva, you can very well start with one of the templates. It's up to you, but we're going to start one from scratch. So I'll click on the plus. Let's add a background first. If you go to background, you can search between landscapes, patterns, gradients, abstract food, textures, and more. Let's keep things simple and click on gradients. I'll select the first one. If you click once, that'll insert it. The next thing I'm going to add is my actual product. So prepare your photos for upload. Once you are ready, go to uploads and then upload all your photos. But what I'm going to do instead is go to photos and search for a product, just as an example. I've searched for camera bag since we wanna replicate the demo that I just played before. The photo that I used was this one right here. Your photos might look like this with a background and what you wanna do is isolate that product. You don't have to do this, but if you do wanna isolate it so that you can use a different background, then here's what to do. First of all, you will need a Canva Pro account in order to use Canva's background remover. Clicking once will enable the edit image mode. Then you'll see background remover. Click on background remover once and then you'll see what happens. In just a matter of seconds, it's removed the background. So now the product is isolated. Now that our product is embedded, the next thing is to add some text. To keep things simple, let's go to text and I'm going to choose this heading right here. Click it once, that'll insert it and you'll see it right here. I don't need the bottom text right here, so I'll delete it. And what I'm going to do here is put introducing what we are going to do is make it smaller. So we'll select it and then let's say 48. Now I'll just align it to the center. And what I'll also do is change the text color to black. So we can click on one of these default colors, so black. And it's just a matter of dragging the text 
to where you want. Let's now duplicate the heading right here so that we can use it for our actual product name. You can save time by duplicating and you can do this in a number of ways. You can simply click the duplicate button right there or you can hold the option key on your Mac keyboard or Alt on Windows and then using your mouse, you just drag, that'll make a copy. Enter your text, so this is called the everyday bag. I'll make this a bit bigger by dragging and then aligning to the center using the guide. I'll just move my product image down below somewhere around there. Now we can move on to some of the features of our product. To save time, we can simply duplicate this page. And in order to do that, make sure you click the show pages option. Now we can see the first page. We then click on the ellipsis and click on duplicate page. That'll make a copy. Make sure you select the second one and gather a couple of features and benefits of your product. What I'll do first is just use this heading and drag it down the bottom so that we can feature one of the actual benefits first or features. I'll delete this one right here, move this up to the top. And with this first one, let's put in light. We'll make it a bit larger. All right, so somewhere and we'll just keep going around there. Because I've only got one image of this example product, I can't really show them, you know, what else this product has in store. So if you do have multiple images, this is a good time to then switch it around, use a different image so that you can demonstrate, you know, what is light or whatever feature it is that you're featuring. But I'll leave that image right there. Let's move on to the next feature. I'll make a duplicate copy. So I'll right click and click on duplicate page. With this one, let's put in compact, repeat the same steps for any of the other features, I'll right click duplicate page again. This one's durable. Now with this last page, what we're going to do is put a 50% off sale. Let's start by duplicating this page again. Now this time I'm going to just put in the everyday bag. I'll stretch this out a bit so it takes a bit more of the space and the width of this canvas. Drag it on top somewhere around here. But what I'm going to do instead is decrease the actual heading size somewhere around there. I want to put a dark background behind the actual heading. So head over to elements and then I'll go under lines and shapes, click on the square. Don't worry about the color yet. We're going to change that, but let's position it. So it's on the background. But you can see here, I'm having difficulty selecting the actual blue background so that I can reposition it. If you ever come across this situation, here's what to do. On your Mac keyboard, hold the command key simultaneously and clicking on your mouse button so you're selecting the layer behind it. On Windows systems, I believe it's the control key. So hold that button and on your mouse, click once or on your trackpad. Now you've selected the first layer. If you click again, you have selected the second layer. So now that I've got it, I'm holding on my trackpad or mouse and now I can drag it. You can see I'm repositioning it where I want. So I want it right there in the center. That looks good there, but let's change the color of the blue. So I can select the blue background because there is a bit of room for my mouse to go and click on. But your color may be different, but this is my default uh, color. But when you select it, you can select from one of the other colors. I'll select black and of course black on black doesn't work well. Now we can't see what that product is. So we'll click once on the text layer and then making sure we select text color and then going to white. I'll move the product just down below somewhere there. And what I wanna do is put a kind of sale badge or sale icon. Where you can go for that is elements and we simply search for sale. There are some elements for Canva free users as well as pro users. I selected this, which is for Canva pro users only. So clicking on an element that will insert it. Now it's just a matter of resizing it down to where you want, like there. Below the sale badge, I wanna put 50% off. So I'll just select the same heading right here. Let's make a duplicate copy. I'll change the color to black. And now I'll just type in 50% off. I'll just crop this a little somewhere there and resizing it down so that it can fit somewhere below the sale badge. So I'll move it over somewhere here. Now below all this, what I'm going to do is put in a coupon code that they can see and use right away. I'll make another copy of this. Now I'll type the coupon, which is save 50. It is quite cramped. So what I'm going to do is select it and go to spacing. And where it says line spacing, I'll just increase it so that there's more spacing in between. You can also use letter spacing so it spreads out a bit more. Done with that, now I'll just move it somewhere right there. 
Okay, now that all our pages, texts, and elements are added in, what we can do is start with the animations. What you can do is animate individual elements, objects, and texts, or you can do it all together in terms of everything on the page. So if we click once, you'll see the animate option. If you hover over any of these page animations, you'll see what the effect will look like. We've got fun, simple, smooth, and some of these basic ones, if you wanna stick to the basics, scale, and you've got some Canva Pro animations as well. So feel free to browse around and experiment with some of these animations, it's up to you. But with this example, what I'm going to do is choose Rise as the first page animation. Now that's set, what we can do is move on to the second page. Here's the second page, there's no animation at the moment, but what you can do, let's say, is animate individual text elements or photos. So let's test that out right clicking the actual text and then I'll click on animate. So this time we're only animating the text. So you'll see here we've got different animations, block, we've got burst, ascend, shift, typewriter, rise and pan. Let's choose rise for this one. Moving on to the second one, we've got compact. Let's choose bounce for this one. Moving on to the Next page, we've got durable. Let's choose a burst for this one, but don't go too crazy and use all sorts of animations. I really wanted to just exaggerate this so you can see different types of animations you can use. Moving on to the final page. With this one, I'm just going to use a whole page animation. So making sure I select the page and bringing up the page animations right here. I kind of like the tumble one. Let's go with that. In addition to page and text animations, what you can also do is add transitions in between each of the pages. If we right click any of these, we'll click on add transition. You can select between dissolve, slide, circle, or wipe. Let's select dissolve. You can also set the duration, but that'll take effect after the first page. You'll see once we play it, there's a dissolve. It's really subtle, so it depends which animation you use. Now that we have all the animations in place, it's time to set the actual duration of each of the pages. Starting with the first page, select it, and then you'll see this little edit timing option. If we click that, we can actually set the duration. So we can say something like 1.5 seconds. If you hit play, you can see the actual total number of seconds this whole video is, but let's go and test out that first page. That's pretty quick, so let's go back. With this one, I'm going to put in 2.5 seconds instead. And moving on to the next one, because it's only one word, we don't need to spend too much time in terms of the timing. So we'll set this to 1.5 seconds. We'll repeat it for compact and durable as well. 1.5, and we'll go to durable, go to timing, and then putting in 1.5 again. With this last one, we can spend a bit more time on it. So we'll put in something like three seconds, see how that works out. Comes to 10 seconds flat. Let's play it. So the everyday bag, and then moving on to the features, light, compact, see all our animations working, and that's the very last one. But once you are done, simply go to download, and then we're going to save it as a MP4 video. Down below, you'll see it's processing. Alrighty, now it is done, it's downloaded. Here's the MP4 file, I can play it from the start. Let's watch it one more time. Got the product, a couple of the features and benefits, and the sale right there. And all that's left to do now is to use that video when you're in Facebook Ads Manager, writing your ad copy and whatnot. So there you have it. That's how to create an Instagram or Facebook ad in Canva. Thanks so much for watching. And if you found this helpful, by all means, give this video a thumbs up and looking forward to sharing the next training with you.